I'm on the radio I'm supposed to call you but I don't know what to say at all And there's this girl she wants me to take her home Hey guys and welcome back to my channel for today's video I am doing the much ever highly requested huge fall try on haul guys I have so much stuff here to show you guys it's kind of ridiculous I went all out with fall shopping this year I have one two three four six different stores to show you guys and a lot of stuff from all the stores I haven't done like a big huge shopping haul in what feels like forever with fall coming around it's like my favorite time of year I was feeling super uninspired by like my closet and the clothes in it and I really just wanted to go all out push myself to wear really cool fashion and really cool clothes that I enjoy this fall. If you guys have been enjoying Utober so far, thumbs up this video and let me know down below. And if you guys aren't following me already, be sure to check out my Twitter and Instagram. I forget which side. I think it's this side. <laughs> I've been posting a ton of fall photos and tweets and all of that good stuff. So if you want to stay in this little October cocoon, then definitely come follow me on there. I have a lot to show you guys, so I feel like we should just jump in. So for the first store I'm going to show you guys, let's do H&M because something I'm wearing is actually from there. So I recently went and hauled a bunch of stuff from H&M. Um, I purchased this cropped purpose sweater like Justin Bieber. It's so comfy. It's so cozy. It's just like a hoodie. It says world tour on the arms and then it just says purpose the world tour across the front. I was looking for like a cropped red hoodie for a really long time and I initially didn't really want any writing or anything on it but when I was at H&M and I saw this I was like you know what Justin Bieber's worth it. The second thing I picked up and you guys will have seen this already is this like army green sweatshirt. I wore this in an outfits of the week video if you guys haven't seen it already. Um, it's just like this really cute cozy knit the thing I like about this one too is it's perfect for the earlier months of fall or if you guys are living somewhere that's a bit warmer It's a little bit more thin so you could wear this over like a t-shirt dress. You could wear it with pants There's so many different ways you can wear it The second thing I have to share with you guys is this bag here. So I was doing a bit of like a back-to-school um, Collaboration with H&M and one of the things that I actually decided to pick up was this bag and it's perfect because I use it for days that I edit so I don't know if I've told you guys this already but I have a set schedule for my filming and editing throughout the week and Tuesdays and Thursdays I tend to leave my apartment I like to go to cafes and stuff and do all my editing and my laptop work there it just kind of gets me out of the house it's my laptop my agenda I can even fit like a coffee I bring my tumbler coffee cup so then next from H&M I have another hoodie to share with you guys this is another one of like my new favorites right now I have makeup on it because I was wearing it I picked up the Harvard hoodie from H&M and it's the comfiest sweater ever this is like my Sunday sweater she doesn't even go here because I don't super comfy sweater and really perfect for the fall if you guys are looking for just like some cozy comfy like chill at home sweater this is perfect and then next from H&M I decided to pick up this little black skirt as well I'm gonna do it with the zipper so you guys can see it's in like a fake suede material and it just has the zipper up the front this is gonna be perfect for like bodysuits or cropped sweaters this fall and this material I just feel like it's such I don't know it's such like a winter slash fall material to wear the next thing I picked up was a pair of black jeans now I've been looking for a while for a pair that had the rips only in the knees and I like them because they're stretchy they're comfy and they were relatively cheap and they are high-waisted so they are super comfy and they look good with everything I feel like this is such a staple to have in your closet for the fall time I actually have quite a few pairs of shoes to show you guys but the first pair is from H&M and they are these ones here I am obsessed with these I love the round toe which is totally different than I've been going really point toe with everything else lately and I just feel like this is something like Spice Girls me would have worn back in the 90s you know and considering they're H&M they're actually really comfortable and they go great with everything and not to mention they because they are kind of like rubber they're perfect for when it's raining out and they have grips on the bottom so you will not slip and slide everywhere and then last but not least from H&M I picked up a pair of comfy shorts. So they're just for lounging again around. They're perfect for that Harvard sweater. I cannot sleep in pants. It drives me up the wall. I don't even like to hang out in pants. If I'm in my apartment and I'm not going anywhere, I'll always switch into shorts. And you can use them for like working out too. You don't just have to use them for pajamas. So that is it from H&M. Moving on, I'm going to share with you guys some of the stuff that I got from my sweet, sweet Shopo. My number one place to shop. I swear, guys, my style. I was meant to be Australian. I also have Lola Chutique in this too. Um, So this is the sweater that I picked up from Shopo. Again, you're going to see a lot of this color in this haul. It's this super soft, it almost has like a fluffiness to it. I'm a cropped sweater and it's got just like a stitch down the middle and it's the really cute thing about it too is the sleeves. They kind of have like bubble sleeves and I am obsessed with this color for the fall time. I bought so much burnt orange in this haul, you have no idea. The next thing I picked up was this little 
I mean, it's kind of like a cross up between a cardigan and a trench coat. You could wear it like a trench coat, but I've just been wearing it as a breezy little cardigan with jeans and a bodysuit. It's this one here. Again, it's in the burnt orange. It's made out of blouse material, so it's super light and, and breezy and comfy. Perfect if you guys are living in warmer climates. And then you have a tie, so you can pull it all together in the front and tie it like a trench coat or a jacket. Or you can leave it open, which is what I do, and wear it sort of like a cardigan or just like a staple to your outfit. And then next I got another sweater. This one's super cute too. It's a bit longer. You guys are gonna notice I'm terrible at describing clothes. I'm probably gonna repeat myself a million times in this haul, but this is just a soft almost nude colored sweater Big giant stretchy neck. You can kind of wear it off the shoulder. I'm loving just giant baggy sweaters like this for the fall time Then next from Shopo, I decided this one's a little out there Okay, but this is gonna be so chic with like the right outfit. I picked up this faux fur black jacket <sighs> If you were to put my soul in a jacket. Childhood me would be so, so pleased with this purchase. The way that I would pair this is probably with just like a black bodysuit, black pants, black boots, just go all out. And it's perfect too because it's going to be nice and warm leading into the winter time. The only thing that I will say is I wish it had pockets. It doesn't have pockets. But it doesn't really matter because it's so perfect in itself. And then the next thing I picked up, I, pick, I purchased a lot of jackets, okay guys? I've been really trying to up my jackets. I think if there's one staple I had to choose as a favorite this year, it would be jackets because I feel like no matter what outfit you put together, if you put the perfect jacket on top of it, you're golden. So this jacket here, this one's really, I can't describe it, it's kind of got a stretchiness to it, but it is so soft and so warm and I love the color of this. It's a really long gray um, trench coat. This one does have pockets, can confirm. This is something that you could easily throw on just to keep yourself warm, but it also kind of adds a little bit of like a chic slash professional vibe. So next, and this might actually be my favorite thing in this entire haul, I picked up this romper from Shopo, again in the burnt orange color, but it's kind of like a silk detailing. This is the cutest romper I've ever seen in my life, um, but this is my new favorite fall romper. It's so cute. I love the cut of this. It is like the most flattering thing and you could be so bloated. doesn't matter how much pumpkin pie you eat. You can wear this any time of day. It's super comfy and I love the bows around the wrists. And last but not least, I picked up again in the burnt orange a pair of their pants that have like the bow in the front. So I've been trying to force myself to venture away from the skinny jeans and the leggings and get some more like tailored pants with a little black um, bodysuit. This could be super cute, especially if we're going out for like dinner or like a fall brunch. So that is it from Shopo. Next, I'm gonna share with you guys really quick a jacket that I got when I went shopping with Greg here in the city. If you guys haven't seen the vlog, I'll post it up on the screen somewhere, but we went to this place called TNT. I'd never heard of it before. I actually picked up this unisex jacket that's meant for guys and girls, but it is this Adidas and Alex Wang collection and it's really cool because it's versatile so you can wear it on this side as well but I love it's like the fake it almost feels like fake sheep fur or whatever and it's giant and fluffy and this is again this would be so sick if you wore it with like black pants a black shirt and like really cool sunglasses and then next I'll do forever 21 one of the first things I picked up from forever 21 was this shirt here again in that army green color I'm trying to venture out guys I just grabbed this cropped New York shirt again perfect for lounging around I also think this would look really cute with like black high-waisted um, pants and really cute black booties for the fall time and you could rock this with one of those black jackets that I've talked about there's just like all of these clothes just intertwine so nicely guys I lost my black cap so I decided to pick up a new one from Forever 21 and the cute thing about this one is it has a little bow in the back um, so you can tighten it as much as you want but that is the standard, it's just a very standard black hat, but I love the bow detailing and I really needed to replace my missing black hat. The next thing I got was this bodysuit and it is a burgundy bodysuit. It's actually only 20 bucks. It reminds me again of something very Spice Girl. It's a halter and it's got this really cute scoop neck detailing and the material is sort of like spandex mixed with silk. I feel like this would be so nice for a fall like date night with a cute pair of jeans. I don't have anything like this in terms of bodysuits so I decided to pick that up. And then Next, I grabbed this t-shirt dress here. This is honestly probably my second favorite purchase in this haul. It is just this tight, um, kind of knitted material t-shirt dress. And my favorite part about it is the bottom has the scoop detailing, so I feel like that's super flattering. And the material of this is actually incredible considering it's Forever 21. It's super stretchy, but it's nice and thick. So that is the black t-shirt dress that I got. And again, with the burnt orange, I picked up this off the shoulder top 
um, which is super cute, super stretchy. I hate wearing bras, but you would definitely need to with this one. But it's so cute. It's just like a nice off the shoulder top. It would be really nice for like Thanksgiving or I don't even know, you could wear this to so many different things because it's the perfect amount of like cute but casual. This was only $22.90 and I feel like I've seen this style of shirt so many other places for so much more than that. And then the second hat I decided to pick up from Forever 21 is this black beanie. I can't seem to find mine from last year. The only thing is I do wish it was like a bit a bit more baggy. It was only $8 so you can't really go wrong. So I also decided to pick up a few accessories from Forever 21 too in terms of I really want to get back into blogging like outfits and stuff like that. So I decided to pick up some purses and when it comes to purses, especially if I'm buying one that's just meant to go with specific kinds of outfits, I don't really like to splurge on super expensive ones. So I decided to pick this one up here from Forever 21. It's in this really nice like nude baby pink color. I'm obsessed. It's actually the color of my nails right now too. And again, I just feel like this blush color is so nice for the fall time and it's going to go so cute with so many outfits that I grabbed. If you want to put it like over the shoulder, it comes with the strap so you can like hook it on and actually wear it across your shoulder or cross body, which is how I actually use my purses. I hate using the handles like this as a purse because it's just, I need mobility in my arm. And then with all the traveling and stuff I've been doing lately, I decided to pick up this duffel bag from Forever 21. I just thought it was super cute and I loved that it was like the brown like faux leather. I thought that this would be perfect for traveling around to go along with my suitcase. It's actually the perfect size, especially for like a weekend or overnight. Also so epic came with a free bag of chips. But yeah, the size of this is definitely perfect for an overnight, like two or three nights or as a carry-on and again it came with the strap so that you can throw it over your shoulder. If you guys want to see a what's in my travel or what's in my carry-on, thumbs up or leave a comment down below. Greg and I have plans to actually head somewhere tropical in November so I can easily film that video for you guys. And so that's it from Forever 21. Next I'm going to share with you guys what I picked up from Lola Chute. I was not lying when I said that this was a huge haul, okay? This is also a collective haul, but this is a huge haul. The first thing I picked up, and these are by far my favorite thing in existence right now. I picked up these new pair of booties. Can we just take a hot second? Like, look at, these are epic. <laughs> so these are actually like a fake velvet and I was not expecting that. For whatever reason, I thought that they were gonna be more like fake leather when I saw them on the site. They have all the bucklings along the side and they're like pointed toe. And the nice thing about them too is the actual booty is maybe two inches at most. So these are so comfy. You can walk around, like I literally walked home the other day. It was like a 40 minute walk and I was so comfy. They're so cute and they are going to be such a huge staple for me this fall because look at how epic they are. The next thing I purchased from Lola Chutique is this bodysuit. So this is also going to be a huge staple for me. This is one of those things that I was so weary about buying because I wasn't sure how it was gonna fit. And I'm so obsessed that I went back on the website and bought it in black too. It's this really nice, like stretchy but tight material. I had boobs when I was like 12, so I always got made fun of. And I think that like subconsciously, it's always caused me to kind of cover up my boobs. But when I do decide to take them out, I like wearing things that I know is gonna hold them in place and I won't have to worry about them all night. And this bodysuit is literally that. That in a nutshell. Next, I've decided to pick up a pair. They're kind of like mom jeans. I'm loving the ripped knee detailing. These ones are totally different from the ones from H&M because these are not like tight or they're not like jagging material either. And they're a bit more of like a charcoal gray than they are black, but they're super cute. The next thing that I purchased, and this is probably my favorite thing from Lola Chutique that I grabbed, aside from those booties. But it is this sweater here. I know it just looks like a standard black sweater, but trust me, I'm gonna do the cutaway clip so you guys can see it, but this is like the perfect amount of, of fitted, but also oversized at the same time. Like the sleeves are so baggy. The top is really like open and loose, so you can wear it off the shoulder. You can pull it down off of both of your shoulders. Kind of got a bit of a distressed detailing in the collar along the sleeves and along the bottom too. In terms of comfy and lounging around, this is probably gonna be my favorite sweater this year. And then the next thing I purchased from Lola Chutique is this cropped charcoal shirt. Again, it's got that distressed detailing along the top collar and such, and it looks like it's just been like scissor cropped. It's a good staple to have, and you could dress it up or wear it casually. Anything cropped lately, I'm obsessed with. If you guys watched my videos last year, you'll know that I have a pair of these in black that are also from Lola Chutique. So this year I decided to go ahead and pick up a pair of thigh high booties, but in this like 
mauve tan color. It's like the chunky booty, so you can actually wear these a little bit more casually as well. And I love them because they have this like gold detailing on the heel, which again is super nice for fall, but it also just adds like a nice touch to them. And we are now coming to the tail end of this never ending haul. I'm now going to show you guys just a few things that I picked up from Aritzia when I went to the mall the other day. And first things first, you guys have seen this sweater already in the outfits of the week video I posted back in, it's, I think it was at the end of August or beginning of September. And it is this cropped like scalloped hoodie here again in that like perfect burnt orange color and my favorite part about this is the bottom of it has like the scalloped detailing so I just think that's so cute for the fall there's just so many ways you can rock sweaters like this and again like I said anything cropped this year I'm obsessed with and then next I decided to pick up one more jacket this one was on sale it's by the brand uh, Babaton and it's kind of in that almost beige, but kind of has a bit of blush to it. If any of you guys are like professionals, young professionals, or you need like a work jacket, this is definitely perfect. And when I went to the store to pick it up, it was originally $245 and I got it on sale for $175, which is still pretty expensive, but this is such good quality and such nice material. I've been watching a lot of Gilmore Girls lately and every time Rory wears like a sick trench coat, I'm like, I need a trench coat. For days that I wanna wear like an all black outfit, this will be the perfect trench coat to put on top. And then and last but most certainly not least the last thing I have to share with you guys is this bodysuit that I picked up from Aritzia and it's just this black bodysuit here just like a pretty standard tank top material but again the material of this is nice and thick but stretchy this is like my favorite material so that is it for my huge giant collective fall haul leave a comment down below telling me your favorite item from this haul I feel like this video is already so long so I'm not gonna bore you guys with a super long outro but just know that I love you guys to the moon and back I hope you're enjoying all the videos and aside from that I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's video bye guys